Welcome to Storytime Haven, where imagination comes to life through the magic of storytelling. Tonight, we invite you to join us on a mesmerizing journey into the enchanting world of Princess Rose and the Golden Bird. Prepare to be whisked away to a kingdom filled with adventure, friendship, and wonder as we delve into this captivating tale. In the heart of a land draped in the colors of the setting sun, there nestled a kingdom known as Floravia. Its cobblestone streets were lined with houses adorned with flowers of every hue, and its bustling marketplace echoed with the laughter of merchants and the chatter of villagers. But what truly made Floravia shine like a gem was its beloved princess, Rose. Princess Rose was not just any royal figure. She was the epitome of grace, kindness, and courage. With hair as dark as the midnight sky and eyes that sparkled like stars, she was adored by all who knew her. Her laughter was like music to the ears of her people, and her compassion knew no bounds. From a young age, Rose had displayed a spirit of adventure that rivaled even the boldest knights of Floravia. She would often sneak out of the palace to explore the kingdom's lush forests and sparkling rivers, much to the dismay of her royal attendants. But despite her mischievous antics, Rose was always quick to lend a helping hand to those in need, whether it was rescuing a lost kitten from a tree or comforting a villager in distress. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars began to twinkle in the velvet sky, the kingdom of Floravia settled into a peaceful slumber, with Princess Rose watching over her beloved land like a guardian angel. Little did she know that her greatest adventure was yet to come, waiting just beyond the horizon, where the golden bird with its secrets awaited her. In the lush royal garden of Floravia, where flowers bloomed in every color imaginable and the scent of jasmine lingered in the air, Princess Rose found herself wandering aimlessly. It was a warm, sunny day, and the birds chirped merrily as they flitted from branch to branch, adding a cheerful melody to the tranquil atmosphere. As Rose strolled along the winding paths, her attention was suddenly captured by a flash of shimmering gold. Peering through the foliage, she spotted a small, exquisite bird with feathers that gleamed like polished gold in the sunlight. Its wings were spread wide, and its beady eyes seemed to hold a hint of ancient wisdom. Intrigued by the sight of this magnificent creature, Princess Rose approached cautiously, careful not to startle it. The golden bird turned its head to regard her with a curious gaze, and Rose couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder wash over her. Hello there, little one, she murmured softly, extending her hand in a gesture of friendship. To her surprise, the bird hopped closer, its delicate feet barely making a sound on the lush green grass. As Rose reached out to touch its shimmering feathers, she felt a strange tingling sensation coursing through her fingertips. Suddenly, the world around her seemed to blur and warp, and she found herself standing in a realm bathed in golden light. Before she could comprehend what was happening, the golden bird began to speak in a melodic voice that resonated deep within her soul. It told her of ancient legends and forgotten magic, of a world beyond the borders of Floravia, where wonders beyond imagination awaited. Mesmerized by the bird's tail, Princess Rose felt a sense of exhilaration coursing through her veins. She knew that she had stumbled upon something extraordinary, something that would change her life forever. With a grateful smile, Rose bid farewell to the golden bird, knowing that their encounter was only the beginning of a remarkable adventure. As she made her way back to the palace, her heart brimming with excitement, she couldn't shake the feeling that her destiny had been forever altered by the mysterious creature she'd encountered in the royal garden. With the golden bird's mesmerizing tale still fresh in her mind, Princess Rose felt an irresistible pull toward the unknown. Determined to uncover the truth behind the bird's origin, she made a bold decision to embark on a journey through the enchanted forest that lay beyond the borders of Floravia. As she ventured deeper into the forest, the air grew thick with the scent of pine and moss, and the sunlight filtered through the dense canopy above, casting dappled shadows on the forest floor. Strange and exotic creatures darted among the trees, their eyes gleaming with curiosity as Rose passed by. With each step she took, Rose felt a sense of anticipation building within her. She knew that she was on the verge of discovering something truly extraordinary, something that would unlock the secrets of the golden bird and the ancient magic that surrounded it. But as she delved deeper into the heart of the forest, Rose encountered obstacles unlike any she had ever faced before. Thorny vines twisted and snaked their way across her path, and mysterious whispers seemed to echo through the trees, causing her heart to race with unease. Undeterred by the challenges that lay ahead, Rose pressed on, her determination fueling her every step. 
She knew that she was getting closer to her goal, and she refused to let anything stand in her way. As the sun began to dip below the horizon and the shadows lengthened around her, Rose stumbled upon a clearing bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. In the center of the clearing stood a majestic tree, its branches reaching toward the heavens like outstretched arms. With a sense of wonder, Rose approached the tree, feeling a strange sense of familiarity wash over her. And as she reached out to touch its gnarled trunk, she felt a surge of energy course through her veins, filling her with a sense of purpose unlike anything she had ever known. With newfound determination, Princess Rose knew that she was on the right path. The enchanted forest held the key to unraveling the mysteries of the golden bird, and she would stop at nothing to uncover the truth. In the heart of the enchanted forest, Princess Rose found herself face to face with a wise old owl perched atop a moss-covered branch. With its piercing gaze and knowing eyes, the owl seemed to hold the wisdom of centuries within its ancient soul. Approaching the owl with reverence, Rose bowed her head in respect before addressing the wise creature. Greetings, noble owl, she began, her voice filled with humility. I seek your counsel on a matter of great importance. The owl regarded her with a solemn expression before nodding its head in acknowledgement. Speak, young princess, it replied, its voice echoing with the weight of age and experience. I shall offer what guidance I can. With a deep breath, Rose recounted her encounter with the golden bird and her quest to uncover its origin. She spoke of the enchanting tale it had told her, of ancient legends and forgotten magic, and of the burning curiosity that consumed her heart. The wise old owl listened intently to Rose's words, its eyes never leaving her face as she spoke. And when she had finished, it let out a low hoot of contemplation before speaking once more. The golden bird you seek holds a connection to an ancient legend. The owl began, its voice grave. Long ago, when the world was young and magic flowed like a river, there existed a kingdom known as Avalon. It was a place of beauty and wonder, where creatures of myth and legend dwelled alongside mortals in harmony. Rose's eyes widened with fascination as she listened to the owl's words, her mind filled with visions of a world long forgotten. But as time passed, darkness began to creep into the hearts of men, and the kingdom of Avalon fell into ruin, the owl continued, its voice tinged with sadness. Legends speak of a powerful artifact known as the Heart of Avalon, said to hold the key to restoring balance to the world. It is said that the Golden Bird is the guardian of this ancient artifact, tasked with protecting it until the day it is needed once more. As the owl's words sank in, Princess Rose felt a sense of awe wash over her. She knew that she had stumbled upon something far greater than she had ever imagined, something that held the fate of not just Floravia, but the entire world in its hands. With a grateful nod to the wise old owl, Rose bid farewell and set off once more on her quest, her heart filled with determination and purpose. She knew that the path ahead would be fraught with peril, but she also knew that she would stop at nothing to fulfill her destiny and unlock the secrets of the golden bird. With the revelation from the wise old owl echoing in her mind, Princess Rose felt a newfound sense of purpose ignite within her heart. Determined to unlock the mystery of the golden bird and the ancient legend it was tied to, she knew that she had to embark on a quest to find the truth. Gathering her courage and resolve, Rose stood before the towering gates of Floravia Castle, her mind buzzing with anticipation. She knew that her journey would not be an easy one, but she also knew that she could not rest until she had unraveled the secrets that lay hidden within the heart of the kingdom. With a steely determination in her eyes, Rose bid farewell to her beloved home and set off into the unknown. The road stretched out before her like a ribbon of possibility, winding its way through dense forests, across rushing rivers, and over rugged mountains. As she journeyed onward, Rose encountered countless challenges and obstacles that tested her strength and resilience. She faced fierce storms that threatened to sweep her off course, treacherous cliffs that dared her to falter, and dark forests that whispered secrets she could barely comprehend. But with each trial she faced, Rose grew stronger and more determined than ever before. She refused to let fear or doubt hold her back, knowing that she was on a quest of utmost importance a quest that would shape the destiny of Floravia and the world beyond. Along the way, Rose encountered allies who offered her guidance and support, as well as adversaries who sought to thwart her at every turn. But no matter the challenges she faced, Rose pressed on with unwavering determination, her heart set on the truth that awaited her at the end of her journey. And as she ventured ever deeper into the heart of the unknown, Princess Rose knew that she was on the brink of discovering something truly extraordinary, 
something that would change the course of history forever. With every step she took, she drew closer to unlocking the mystery of the golden bird and the ancient legend that had captivated her soul. And she knew that no matter what lay ahead, she would face it with courage, determination, and the unwavering belief that she was destined for greatness. As Princess Rose continued her quest for answers, her path led her into the depths of a treacherous swamp that stretched as far as the eye could see. The air was thick with moisture, and the ground beneath her feet squelched with every step, threatening to suck her in with each movement. With determination set in her heart, Rose forged ahead, her eyes scanning the murky waters for any sign of danger. Strange creatures lurked in the shadows, their glowing eyes watching her every move with a mixture of curiosity and malice. The swamp seemed to come alive around her, the sounds of unseen creatures echoing through the mist-shrouded trees. Rose pressed on, her senses on high alert as she navigated the treacherous terrain, her heart pounding with each step. But just as she thought she had overcome the worst of the swamp's dangers, disaster struck. With a sudden lurch, the ground beneath her gave way, and Rose found herself sinking into the murky depths below. Panic surged through her veins as she struggled to break free from the grip of the swamp's unforgiving embrace. But the more she struggled, the deeper she sank, until she was enveloped in darkness, her lungs burning for air. Just when all hope seemed lost, a ray of light pierced the darkness, and a strong hand reached down to pull her to safety. Gasping for breath, Rose found herself face to face with a mysterious figure clad in robes of shimmering green. You are fortunate, young princess, the figure said, their voice tinged with an otherworldly quality. Few who venture into these swamps emerge unscathed. With gratitude in her heart, Rose thanked her savior before pressing on once more, her resolve strengthened by the brush with danger. She knew that the swamp was but one obstacle in her path, and that many more challenges lay ahead. But with courage as her guide, Princess Rose pressed forward, her eyes set on the horizon and the mysteries that awaited her beyond the treacherous swamp. For she knew that no matter the dangers she faced, she would overcome them with strength, determination, and the unwavering belief that she was destined for greatness. As Princess Rose continued her journey through the dense forest, she found herself facing a labyrinth of towering trees and tangled undergrowth. The thick canopy above blocked out most of the sunlight, casting the forest floor in shadow and making it difficult to find her way. Feeling a sense of uncertainty creeping over her, Rose paused to catch her breath and gather her thoughts. It was then that she heard a rustling in the bushes nearby, followed by the sound of scampering feet. Out from the underbrush darted a small, furry creature with a bushy tail and bright, beady eyes. It was a squirrel, its fur a rich shade of chestnut brown, and it regarded Rose with a curious tilt of its head. Hello there, little one, Rose said with a warm smile, extending her hand in greeting. To her surprise, the squirrel chattered excitedly in response as if understanding her words. With a flick of its tail, the squirrel motioned for Rose to follow, darting off into the forest with surprising speed. Intrigued by the friendly creature's offer of assistance, Rose hurried to keep pace, her footsteps quickening as she followed the squirrel through the dense undergrowth. For what seemed like hours, Rose and her newfound companion journeyed deeper into the heart of the forest, the squirrel leading the way with uncanny precision. It seemed to know every twist and turn of the forest's winding paths, guiding Rose through thickets and brambles with ease. As they traveled, Rose found herself growing more and more grateful for the squirrel's help. Without its guidance, she knew she would have been hopelessly lost in the labyrinthine forest, with no hope of finding her way out. Finally, after what felt like an eternity of walking, the squirrel came to a sudden stop at the edge of a small clearing. With a final chirp of farewell, it vanished into the underbrush, leaving Rose alone once more. But as she gazed around the clearing, Rose realized that she was no longer lost. In the distance, she could see the towering spires of Floravia Castle rising above the treetops, a beacon of hope in the midst of the dense forest. With a grateful smile, Princess Rose set off once more, her heart filled with gratitude for the friendly squirrel who had guided her through the labyrinth of the forest. And as she made her way back to the safety of the castle, she knew that she would never forget the kindness of her furry companion, who had helped her on her journey when she needed it most. As Princess Rose ventured deeper into the forest, her keen eyes caught sight of a peculiar rock formation partially concealed by overgrown vines and moss-covered branches. Intrigued by the mysterious structure, she approached cautiously, her heart pounding with excitement. With careful steps, Rose pushed aside the tangled vegetation to reveal a hidden entrance nestled within the rocky facade. 
Without hesitation, she stepped inside, her senses tingling with anticipation as she ventured into the darkness beyond. As her eyes adjusted to the dim light, Rose found herself standing in a vast cavern filled with shimmering stalactites and stalagmites. The air was cool and musty, and the sound of dripping water echoed off the cavern walls. With each step she took, Rose felt a sense of wonder wash over her as she explored the hidden depths of the cave. Strange symbols adorned the walls, their meaning lost to time, and the air hummed with a faint, otherworldly energy. But it was what lay at the heart of the cave that truly captured Rose's attention. Nestled within a recessed alcove, she discovered a series of ancient artifacts, each more intriguing than the last. Among the artifacts was a golden talisman adorned with intricate carvings, its surface gleaming in the dim light. Beside it lay a weathered parchment, its edges frayed with age, upon which were written cryptic runes and symbols. With trembling hands, Rose reached out to touch the talisman, a jolt of electricity coursing through her veins as her fingers made contact with its smooth surface. Images flashed before her eyes, fleeting glimpses of a time long past, and a world steeped in magic and mystery. And as she studied the parchment, deciphering its cryptic symbols with growing fascination, Rose felt a sense of clarity wash over her. She knew that she had stumbled upon something of great significance, something that held the key to unlocking the secrets of the golden bird and its ancient past. With a sense of determination burning in her heart, Princess Rose gathered the artifacts and tucked them safely away, knowing that they would be instrumental in her quest for answers. And as she made her way out of the hidden cave, she knew that she was one step closer to unraveling the mysteries that had captivated her since the beginning of her journey. Deep within the heart of the forest, Princess Rose stumbled upon a clearing bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. In the center of the clearing stood a magnificent fountain, its waters shimmering with an ethereal light that seemed to dance and sparkle in the darkness. Intrigued by the sight before her, Rose approached the fountain cautiously, her heart pounding with anticipation. As she drew closer, she noticed that the fountain was adorned with intricate carvings depicting scenes of ancient legends and forgotten magic. With trembling hands, Rose reached out to touch the cool, smooth surface of the fountain's basin. To her amazement, the water began to glow with an otherworldly brilliance, swirling and twirling like liquid silver beneath her fingertips. Without hesitation, Rose dipped her hands into the fountain's waters, feeling a rush of energy course through her veins as she did so. And as she closed her eyes and allowed herself to be swept away by the magic of the moment, she felt a strange sensation wash over her. Visions flashed before her eyes, fleeting glimpses of a world long forgotten, and a story waiting to be told. She saw the golden bird soaring through the skies, its wings glistening in the sunlight as it danced upon the wind. She witnessed battles fought and victories won, and she felt the weight of ancient prophecies and destinies intertwined. But amidst the chaos and turmoil there was also beauty and wonder to be found. Rose saw moments of love and friendship, of courage and sacrifice, and she felt a sense of awe wash over her as she witnessed the unfolding of a tale that spanned the ages. As the visions began to fade and the magic of the fountain waned, Princess Rose found herself standing once more in the clearing, her heart filled with a newfound sense of purpose. She knew that she had glimpsed the golden bird's history and that she was one step closer to unlocking the secrets that had eluded her for so long. With a sense of determination burning in her heart, Rose bid farewell to the magical fountain and set off once more on her quest. She knew that the road ahead would be long and fraught with peril, but she also knew that she had been chosen for this journey, and that she would stop at nothing to uncover the truth that awaited her at the end of her path. As Princess Rose journeyed deeper into the heart of the enchanted forest, she could feel the air crackling with magic, a sense of foreboding hanging heavy in the air. Unbeknownst to her, a wicked sorcerer watched from the shadows, his eyes gleaming with malice as he plotted to hinder her progress. With a wave of his hand and a whispered incantation, the sorcerer summoned forth a powerful spell, weaving dark tendrils of magic that snaked their way through the forest like twisting vines. The once familiar paths became twisted and distorted, leading Rose astray with each step she took. Confusion clouded Rose's mind as she found herself wandering aimlessly through the labyrinthine forest, her senses disoriented and her sense of direction lost. Shadows danced at the edge of her vision and strange whispers echoed through the trees, taunting her with their cryptic messages. But despite the sorcerer's best efforts to thwart her progress, Princess Rose refused to succumb to despair. With determination burning in her heart, she pressed on, her every step a testament to her unwavering resolve. 
With each obstacle she faced, Rose grew stronger and more determined than ever before. She fought against the sorcerer's spell with all her might, pushing through the darkness with a fierce determination that refused to be extinguished. And as she battled against the forces arrayed against her, Rose discovered a strength within herself that she never knew she possessed. She tapped into the magic that flowed through her veins, channeling it into a powerful force that dispelled the sorcerer's spell and cleared the path ahead. With a triumphant smile, Princess Rose emerged from the enchanted forest, her spirit unbroken and her resolve stronger than ever before. She knew that the road ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty, but she also knew that she had faced the sorcerer's spell and emerged victorious. With her head held high and her heart filled with determination, Rose set off once more on her quest. Knowing that nothing could stand in her way as long as she remained true to herself and the destiny that awaited her, as Princess Rose continued her quest through the enchanted forest, she found herself feeling a sense of loneliness creeping in. Despite her determination and bravery, the journey had begun to weigh heavily on her shoulders, and she longed for companionship to lighten her burden. It was then that fate intervened in the form of a loyal companion, a small, scruffy dog with a wagging tail and bright, intelligent eyes. The dog bounded out from the underbrush, its tail wagging eagerly as it approached Rose with a friendly bark. Surprised but delighted by the unexpected arrival of her new friend, Rose greeted the dog with a warm smile and a gentle pat on the head. In return, the dog licked her hand affectionately, its eyes sparkling with unspoken loyalty and devotion. Realizing that she had found a kindred spirit in the faithful canine, Rose welcomed her new companion with open arms, grateful for the support and friendship it offered. Together, they journeyed deeper into the heart of the forest, their spirits lifted by the warmth of their newfound bond. As they traveled, Rose and her loyal companion faced many challenges and obstacles along the way. They braved treacherous terrain, battled fearsome creatures, and weathered storms that threatened to tear them apart. But through it all, they stood by each other's side, their friendship growing stronger with each passing day. With her loyal companion by her side, Princess Rose found the strength and courage to face whatever challenges lay ahead. Together, they laughed in the face of danger, shared secrets beneath the starry sky, and forged memories that would last a lifetime. And as they journeyed onward, Princess Rose knew that she was not alone, for she had found a true friend in her loyal companion, a friend who would stand by her through thick and thin, no matter what trials they may face on their quest. As Princess Rose ventured deeper into the unknown territory of the Enchanted Forest, she encountered a series of trials that tested her courage and bravery like never before. Each obstacle she faced seemed more daunting than the last, but Rose was determined to press on, fueled by the unwavering belief that she was destined for greatness. Her first trial came in the form of a towering cliff, its sheer face rising high above the forest canopy. With no path in sight, Rose knew that she would have to scale the cliff if she wanted to continue her journey. Summoning all her strength and determination, Rose began to climb, her fingers gripping the rough rock as she pulled herself upward with every ounce of strength she possessed. The wind howled around her, threatening to knock her off balance, but Rose refused to be deterred. After what felt like an eternity of climbing, Rose reached the summit of the cliff, her heart pounding with exhilaration as she gazed out over the breathtaking vista below. From her vantage point high above the forest, she could see the path stretching out before her, winding its way through the trees like a ribbon of possibility. But her trials were far from over. As she continued her journey, Rose encountered a dark and forbidding cave, its entrance shrouded in shadows. With trepidation gnawing at her heart, she steeled herself for what lay ahead and plunged into the darkness without hesitation. Inside the cave, Rose faced her deepest fears and darkest doubts, confronting the shadows that lurked within her own mind. But with each step she took, she felt a newfound sense of courage welling up inside her, banishing the darkness and illuminating the path ahead. Emerging from the cave victorious, Rose found herself faced with one final trial, a raging river that barred her path like an insurmountable obstacle. With no bridge in sight, Rose knew that she would have to find another way across if she wanted to reach her destination. Summoning all her courage and determination, Rose waded into the icy waters, the current pulling at her legs like invisible hands trying to drag her under. But Rose refused to yield, pushing forward with all her might until she reached the opposite shore, her heart pounding with triumph as she emerged victorious once more. As Princess Rose continued her journey through the enchanted forest, she knew that she had faced her trials of courage and emerged stronger and braver than ever before. 
With each obstacle she overcame, she grew closer to unlocking the secrets that lay hidden within the heart of the forest, knowing that her destiny awaited her at the end of her journey. As Princess Rose journeyed deeper into the heart of the enchanted forest, she stumbled upon a clearing unlike any she had ever seen before. In the center of the clearing stood the crumbling ruins of an ancient castle, its once majestic spires reaching toward the sky like skeletal fingers grasping for salvation. Intrigued by the sight before her, Rose approached cautiously, her heart pounding with anticipation. As she stepped through the overgrown courtyard, she felt a sense of reverence wash over her, as if she were walking in the footsteps of history itself. With each step she took, Rose felt the weight of centuries pressing down upon her, the air heavy with the echoes of long-forgotten whispers and the ghosts of a kingdom lost to time. She knew that she had stumbled upon something of great significance, something that held the key to unlocking the mysteries that had captivated her since the beginning of her journey. As she explored the crumbling ruins, Rose discovered hidden chambers filled with treasures long forgotten. Dusty tapestries depicting scenes of ancient battles, tarnished crowns lying abandoned on marble pedestals, and faded manuscripts detailing the history of a kingdom that had faded into obscurity. But it was what lay at the heart of the castle that truly captured Rose's attention. In the depths of the Forgotten Kingdom, she discovered a chamber bathed in golden light, its walls adorned with shimmering murals depicting the golden bird and the ancient legends that surrounded it. With trembling hands, Rose approached the mural, her heart pounding with anticipation as she traced her fingers along its intricate carvings. And, as she studied the images before her, she felt a sense of clarity wash over her, as if the answers she had been seeking were finally within her grasp. For in the Forgotten Kingdom, Princess Rose discovered the truth about the Golden Bird, its origins, its purpose, and the role it played in shaping the destiny of the world. And as she stood before the mural, bathed in the warm glow of its golden light, she knew that she had finally unlocked the secrets that had eluded her for so long. With a sense of purpose burning in her heart, Princess Rose bid farewell to the Forgotten Kingdom and set off once more on her quest, her mind filled with newfound determination and resolve. For she knew that her journey was far from over and that the destiny of Floravia and the world beyond lay in her hands. As Princess Rose approached the entrance to the kingdom she had sought for so long, her heart sank at the sight before her. Standing guard at the gate was a fearsome dragon, its scales gleaming in the sunlight and its eyes burning with an intensity that sent shivers down her spine. With a deep breath to steady her nerves, Rose stepped forward, her eyes fixed on the dragon before her. She knew that she would have to face this formidable creature if she wanted to reach her destination, and she refused to back down from the challenge. As she drew closer, the dragon let out a deafening roar, its breath searing the air with the heat of a thousand flames. But Rose stood her ground, her determination shining like a beacon in the face of danger. With a flick of its massive tail, the dragon lashed out, sending debris flying in all directions. But Rose was ready, dodging the attack with lightning-fast reflexes and pressing forward with unwavering resolve. The battle raged on, each clash of claw and sword echoing through the air like thunder. Rose fought with all her might, her every movement fueled by a fierce determination to overcome the dragon and reach her goal. But just when it seemed that all hope was lost, Rose saw her chance. With a swift, well-aimed strike, she plunged her sword into the dragon's heart, its mighty roar echoing through the kingdom as it collapsed to the ground in a heap. With the guardian dragon defeated, Princess Rose stood victorious at the entrance to the kingdom she had fought so hard to reach. Though weary from battle, her spirit burned brighter than ever before, fueled by the knowledge that she had overcome the greatest challenge of her journey. As she stepped through the gates and into the kingdom beyond, Rose knew that her quest was far from over. But with the memory of her victory over the guardian dragon burning brightly in her heart, she faced the challenges that lay ahead with a courage and determination that would carry her through whatever trials may come. Princess Rose stood before the formidable dragon, her heart pounding with fear and uncertainty. The dragon loomed over her, its fiery breath casting an ominous glow upon the surrounding landscape. But Rose was not alone. By her side stood her loyal companions, the faithful dog who had joined her on her journey, the wise owl who had offered her counsel, and the friendly squirrel who had guided her through the dense forest. With a silent nod to her friends, Rose drew her sword and prepared to face the dragon head on. She knew that together, they were stronger than they could ever be alone, and that their friendship would see them through even the darkest of times. As the dragon unleashed a mighty roar and prepared to strike, Rose and her companions sprang into action. 
The dog barked ferociously, distracting the dragon and drawing its attention away from Rose. The owl swooped down from above, striking at the dragon's eyes with talons sharp as daggers. And the squirrel scampered around the dragon's feet, nipping at its ankles and keeping it off balance. With each coordinated attack, Rose felt a surge of hope and determination welling up inside her. She knew that her friends had her back, and that together, they could overcome any obstacle that stood in their way. As the battle raged on, Rose and her companions fought with all their might, their every movement fueled by the unbreakable bonds of friendship. They dodged the dragon's fiery breath, evaded its powerful claws, and struck back with a ferocity that took the beast by surprise. And then, in a moment of pure triumph, Rose delivered the final blow, plunging her sword deep into the dragon's heart and vanquishing the fearsome creature once and for all. With a deafening roar, the dragon collapsed to the ground, its fiery spirit extinguished forever. As Rose and her friends stood victorious over the fallen dragon, they knew that their friendship had been their greatest weapon. Together they had faced their fears and conquered the greatest challenge of their journey, proving that with courage, determination, and the power of friendship, anything was possible. And as they set off once more on their quest, their hearts filled with hope and their spirits lifted high, they knew that no obstacle could stand in their way as long as they stood together. As Princess Rose delved deeper into the secrets of the Forgotten Kingdom, she stumbled upon a weathered scroll hidden amidst a pile of dusty tomes. Curious, she unfurled the parchment and began to read, her eyes scanning the faded words with growing fascination. The scroll spoke of an ancient prophecy, whispered by sages and seers long since passed into legend. It told of a time when darkness would descend upon the kingdom and all hope would seem lost. But in the darkest hour, a hero would rise, a champion destined to wield the power of the golden bird and bring light back to the land. As Rose read on, she felt a shiver run down her spine. Could it be that she was the hero foretold in the prophecy? Was she the one destined to save the kingdom from the encroaching darkness? With a sense of urgency burning in her heart, Rose sought out the ancient guardians of the kingdom, the wise old owl, the friendly squirrel, and her loyal companion, the faithful dog. Together, they studied the prophecy, searching for clues that would lead them to the truth. And as they pieced together the fragments of the prophecy, a sense of clarity began to dawn upon them. They realized that the golden bird was more than just a myth. It was a symbol of hope, a beacon of light in a world consumed by darkness. With newfound determination, Rose and her friends set out on a quest to find the golden bird and fulfill the prophecy once and for all. They knew that the road ahead would be long and fraught with danger, but they also knew that they were destined for greatness, destined to bring light back to the kingdom and restore hope to the hearts of its people. As they journeyed onward, Princess Rose felt a sense of purpose burning brightly within her. She knew that she was the hero foretold in the ancient prophecy, and that she would stop at nothing to fulfill her destiny and save the kingdom from the darkness that threatened to consume it. And as she set her sights on the horizon and the adventures that lay ahead, Rose knew that she was ready to face whatever challenges may come her way. For she was not just Princess Rose, she was the hero of the ancient prophecy, destined to bring light back to the land and restore hope to the hearts of all who called it home. Princess Rose stood before the towering spires of the sorcerer's dark fortress, her heart pounding with a mixture of fear and determination. Inside those ominous walls lay the key to breaking the curse and freeing the golden bird from its enchanted prison. With a deep breath to steady her nerves, Rose stepped forward, her companions at her side, their eyes filled with unwavering loyalty and resolve. Together, they marched towards the fortress, knowing that their final confrontation with the sorcerer would be the most challenging battle yet. As they entered the fortress, they were met with a labyrinth of winding corridors and shadowy chambers, each more treacherous than the last. But Rose refused to be deterred, pressing onward with a single-minded determination that burned brightly within her. Finally, they reached the heart of the fortress, a vast chamber shrouded in darkness, lit only by the flickering flames of torches that lined the walls. And there, seated upon a throne of blackened stone, sat the sorcerer, his eyes gleaming with malice as he surveyed the intruders who dared to challenge him. With a wave of his hand, the sorcerer summoned forth a legion of shadowy creatures to do his bidding, their eyes glowing with an unnatural light as they advanced upon Rose and her companions. But Rose was ready, her sword gleaming in the dim light as she prepared to face her greatest foe. With a battle cry that echoed through the chamber, Rose charged forward, her companions at her side, their every movement a testament to their unwavering determination to break the curse and free the golden bird. 
The air crackled with magic as spells flew and swords clashed, the sound of steel on steel ringing out like thunder in the darkness. Despite the sorcerer's best efforts to thwart them, Rose and her companions fought with all their might, their every blow fueled by the burning desire to see justice done. And as the battle raged on, they could feel the tide turning in their favor, the sorcerer's dark power waning with each passing moment. Finally, with a final desperate cry, the sorcerer unleashed his most powerful spell yet, sending a wave of dark energy crashing towards Rose and her companions. But they stood firm, their resolve unbroken, as they raised their swords and shields to meet the sorcerer's onslaught head-on. And then, in a blinding flash of light, the sorcerer's spell was broken, the darkness dissipating like fog in the morning sun. With a triumphant cry, Princess Rose and her companions emerged victorious. Their hearts filled with joy and relief as they realized that they had finally succeeded in breaking the curse and freeing the golden bird from its enchanted prison. As they made their way out of the fortress and into the light of day, Rose and her companions knew that their journey was far from over. But with the golden bird soaring high above them, its wings glinting in the sunlight, they knew that they had achieved something truly extraordinary, and that they would forever be remembered as heroes who had faced darkness and emerged victorious. Their courage and determination shining brightly for all the world to see, with the sorcerer's curse finally lifted and the darkness banished from the land, Princess Rose and her companions stood in awe as they watched the miraculous transformation unfold before their eyes. As the first rays of dawn crept over the horizon, bathing the kingdom in a golden light, the golden bird began to stir. Its feathers shimmered and glowed, reflecting the brilliance of the rising sun as it spread its wings and took to the sky. With a triumphant cry that echoed through the kingdom, the golden bird soared high above the land, its majestic form a beacon of light and hope for all who beheld it. The people of Floravia gathered in the streets below, their faces alight with wonder and joy as they watched the bird dance upon the wind, its wings tracing patterns of light against the azure sky. As the golden bird circled overhead, its song filled the air, a melody of purest joy and triumph that lifted the spirits of all who heard it. The kingdom was alive with the sound of laughter and celebration as people danced in the streets and rejoiced in the newfound light that had banished the darkness from their hearts. For Princess Rose and her companions, the sight of the golden bird in its true form was a testament to their courage and determination. They had faced insurmountable odds and overcome unimaginable challenges, but in the end, their perseverance had prevailed and the kingdom had been saved. As they watched the golden bird disappear into the distance, its song fading into the ether, Rose and her companions knew that their journey was at an end. They had fulfilled the ancient prophecy, bringing light and joy back to the kingdom, and their names would be remembered for generations to come as heroes who had saved Floravia from the brink of darkness. And as they stood together, bathed in the warm glow of the golden sunrise, Princess Rose and her companions knew that no matter what trials may come their way in the future, they would always carry the memory of their adventure in their hearts, a reminder of the power of friendship, courage, and the indomitable human spirit. With the golden bird soaring high above the kingdom, its radiant presence casting a warm glow over the land, Princess Rose and her companions gathered in the courtyard of the castle to celebrate their hard-won victory. Laughter and joy filled the air as the people of Floravia danced and sang, their faces aglow with happiness as they reveled in the newfound peace that had been restored to their land. Tables laden with delicious food and drink lined the courtyard, and the sound of music filled the air as musicians played joyful tunes that echoed through the castle walls. Princess Rose beamed with pride as she looked out over the crowd, her heart filled with gratitude for the friends who had stood by her side through thick and thin. The faithful dog wagged its tail happily, the wise old owl hooted its approval from its perch high above, and the friendly squirrel scampered around the courtyard, its cheeks bulging with stolen treats. As the festivities continued late into the night, Rose and her companions shared tales of their adventures. Their voices filled with laughter and excitement as they reminisced about the trials and triumphs they had faced together. They toasted their victory with goblets of fine wine, raising their glasses to the bonds of friendship that had led them to triumph against all odds. And as the stars twinkled overhead and the moon cast its silvery light upon the kingdom below, Princess Rose knew that she was exactly where she was meant to be, surrounded by friends who had become like family, in a kingdom that she had fought to save. With a contented smile on her face, Rose joined her companions on the dance floor, 
her heart filled with joy and gratitude for the journey they had shared. For in the end, it was not just the defeat of the sorcerer or the lifting of the curse that mattered most. It was the bonds of friendship that had carried them through and the love and laughter that would forever fill their hearts as they lived out there happily ever after. And so, dear listeners, we come to the end of our tale. We hope you've enjoyed this enchanting adventure with Princess Rose and the Golden Bird. Remember, the power of courage, friendship, and believing in oneself can overcome even the darkest of challenges. Until next time, may your dreams be as bright as the golden sunrise that heralds a new day in Floravia. Good night and sweet dreams from Storytime Haven. <laughs>